All right, guys, welcome back to another edition of The Timmy Show. And tonight we're going to be opening up a draft booster box of uh, Kamigawa. And uh, this also comes attached with another giveaway. Um, so with that aside, uh, we're going to add one pack of uh, Kamigawa to the, um, the party. And then I'm also going to add um, this this box that I bought of draft boosters from a new um, store that we have here in our town. Um, they sell games and stuff like that. They just happen to have um, a few of these boxes and um, so I'm going to throw this in with it but I'm going to comes as kind of exclusion. Um, as you can see here it says use card on $9.99. Now they say they buy a lot of this stuff locally from people and uh other stores so i don't know if this is quite on quite legit or not um but you will get all the materials out of this box uh, along with the pack um i'm thinking by shaking it and everything i think it's going to be three packs the only thing that's got me kind of curious about it is they sold it to me for $9.99 but they have a booster box of innistrad crimson vow on the counter and they're trying to sell the packs for like $6.99 a piece, $7. So you're telling me they're going to sell me three booster packs for $9.99. But then, um, or you could buy a regular draft booster pack for $6.99. It's kind of strange. Um, I'm thinking um, that they think these are kind of theme decks and not the draft boosters. That's Because the other theme decks in there have $9.99. But regardless, um, you'll get both of these. I'm, this is what I'm going to do at the end after I open up the box. I'm going to open this up and uh, to make sure that the packs are legit. And um, if they are, I'm going to, you're going to get three Crimson Vow packs and a Kamigawa Booster pack. All you have to do is like my video, subscribe to the channel, and comment um, what you like to see best out of Kamigawa or what you like best about Kamigawa. Whatever you want to do, just comment and uh, you'll be entered to win that. So all further ado, let's go ahead and... Um, dig into our booster box and uh, see what we get. Nice little placard. And we'll go ahead and just open out the out of the pack. We're gonna kind of do this, try to go through it rather quickly uh, for the most part everybody knows the comms and stuff move that out of the way I do think this cord is going to I think it's like pre-sailed for up to five dollars what I've seen I do believe all right look at that right off the bat we get reality chip uh, altar um I'm just going to put these on come I do I'll put that there off to the side because uh, I do think um, some of the uncommons like the containment construct is going to be worth a little money off the bat. All right, we got patchwork, you know, fire discharge, and weaver of harmony. And hey, hey, hey. I like those. I think they were saying um, they come, the the lands like that come about um, eight to a box or so. Hey, look at that, Kami of Transcience. I don't know, probably not the way I pronounced it, but that's two alt art cards out of the first three packs. Trans or what I don't know how to pronounce it man I'm not the best pronouncer of names unfortunately look at that we got another containment construct and hey 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 look at that our first mythic we got a wandering emperor and uh, we'll put that there that is I got one in our draft. Um, I didn't go those colors. Walking skyscraper. The biggest thing I've seen 
but it doesn't have flying but could be big enough to touch flyers thundering Raiju and hey it's another land we do love the lands So, I think I got one of every Planeswalker now, because I think there's just the three Tamiyo, the Wanderer, and um, the Ninja Dude. Alright. Patchwork, and... Ooh! Get them off the containments. Get them off! Grave Light. Alright, this has been a pretty good card. Look at that, we got another one. We've been pulling a bunch of Altar cards, and we got up to three of the lands so far. So I think this set's really cool. Um, I don't know, the last the last year of Magic, I've been really down. Because uh, I didn't really like any of the sets. This is a good card. Um, looks like we got a really cool card coming up. We got Thousand Face Shadow. And look at that, dude. Selfless Samurai, Altar, pretty. You can see a little scuffling on the top. We'll put that aside. I think that's our first foil. I might have missed a foil. I don't know. I don't think I did. Another Shrine. This card's really good in draft and stuff. The uh, Prototype. He does great work. Hey, it's our first land. Crucible of Defiance, and you see a little white up there. Come on, Magic. You're supposed to get your act together when it comes to uh, not what Flesh and Blood is sending out for uh, Everfest, a bunch of damage stuff. Can't be doing that. Looks like we're getting our... Banishing Slash is really good, too. This is a good card for uh, ninjas. All right. We got our next mythic. Defends the temple. And we got another. Another. We got the Moon Snare prototype as our foil common. Alright. This is probably gonna be really good in um in Commander as a land. Because it does a lot of good stuff the turtle and we got the uprising I played this in draft and it's not it's not really that good because the the other side gives them just as many just minus one creature you get so unless you could win on the turn that you give them haste and menace um it's not a very good card I'm not even sure I could consider that a rare um, but uh, it is. This is actually a really good card and if you're playing like a lot of uh, enchantments and artifacts and draft. Because it pumps up a lot of stuff. Alright, we got the Surge Hacker Mech. And hey, look at that. This is a really good pack. We got a Cloud. And look at that. It's not even like right out of the pack. No, no uh... I'm going to put that over there. But no, um... No bending or anything. That's kind of cool. It'll go into a, a sleeve after this. Turtle. This guy is really, really good in draft. I've, I've watched people do that a lot. And it's been nice. So, hey, we got burgeoning life and another land. I'm glad I'm getting a lot of lands because... That's going to be my new draft draft limited um, land set. Because they're, they're really cool. I dig them a lot. This card is really, really great in draft too. I think this is probably the best um, saga there is in this. Well, especially that you know, hey, we got another land. Discard deals four damage to any target attacking and blocking creature. It's not as good as the uh, the green one, but I mean, it's got its places. All right, 
Let's get rid of this stuff. Four. Hey, we got my dude that used as was one of my promos. Very, very good. Moving on, moving on. The Oculus, um, or an Oculus, the Octopus Acquisition Oculus is really good in draft, too. All right, we almost got the trifecta. We got the blue one, which is really good. And all we got to do next is, I guess, get the uh, green one. And I think we got them all the lands. We got a foil in this. Oops, and it's not wanting to come easy. Kami, again, another one. That's, a, that's probably really good in Commander 2. The Shrine Steward. Um, we'll get an aura or a Shrine. I did start, I do have a Shrine deck, EDH deck, and it's not fully built because I was not waiting specifically on these, but I was just waiting on, um, all right, we got the Soul Ripper. I was waiting on uh, just different cards in general. Like maybe a few tutors and stuff like that um, to come along. And now since this set's come out, it's going to be really, really nice to do. The Blade Blizzard. Cool. All right, we got another one. Then we got a foil mech. All right. Two Cloud Steel Kirins. Kirins, however you want to pronounce it. All right, we got the hot springs, the general, and a grease fang Kyobi boss. I don't think I've seen this one before. What a name, man. I don't think I've seen that or played against that card. A rat ninja, a rat pilot. It's not even a ninja. Make wave rolling earth. Hey, this is a good card. Could be a commander card for sure. The Azari commander. I like that one. I have a human Boros commander deck, and I'm going to look at a few of these Boros uh, cards in this set to see if they fit in it. I think that one specifically will. Covert Tactician. This is probably one of the best ninjas in, in the format because you could destroy enchantments and artifacts once you guide it in, which is really good. Hey, look at that one, the black one. I got the green one in the set box just like this, the borderless art. So no, now, now we could get the trifecta if we hit the green one because I forgot about the black one. So we got every color except the green one. And... Considering that, that that was our borderless hit in here, I don't think we'll get a green borderless one. Probably won't get another borderless card at all, to be honest with you. Hey, we got another mythic, the Blade of Oni. And we got another land. I think that's the first land for a while ago. So We still got a quarter of the box to go, so let's try to speed things up here. All right, March of the Swirling Mist and another land. But, um, yeah, I don't know how the value is going to, uh, you know, go on these. But I, I want to say they'll probably go up. The Wretched Sorrow. I think they'll go up a little bit on a few of the cards. But, um,. The set box that I had was just unreal, the amount of value that came out of it. Once again, I think that's a very good draftable card. The Eater of Virtue. And this card. This card is a very good draft card. This thing is bonkers, man. Um, you return a creature, return a, or return a, one of their creatures to their hand, return an artifact from your graveyard, flip it. 
in this side, you could just start locking people out of the game by playing different converted mana costs. And that's two foil rare, so that's that's good. But um, locking people out of the game with that is just nasty in nature. I've played it against people and locked people out of the game, and then they have locked me out of the game. So, another Master Splinter. Tribute to the whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Harabi? Har Harubi? That will be going in my EDH rat deck. And I do have the rat, the, the, the real, the real of this deck deck is what I play. And, um, I think I have this mech already or got that mech. And we got another foil. Kami of Industry. And that's an okay one. I wish it was any artifact in your graveyard. Then it might be, um... Playable. Oh, the general. Hey, light paws. Emperor. Emperor's voice. Alright, we're coming up to the last probably seven, eight packs. And, uh... Glad you guys all tuned in. We got the Boundless Sky. Another mythic. And we got another foil and another full land. Nice, nice. I would have already been done with the set box by now. But man, these have so many packs in it. The 36 packs seem so far out from the 24 that you get in a set booster box. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And another land. I think it's a, between six to eight lands is what you're supposed to get in a box. I think we're above the norm, I want to say. All right, Springleaf Avenger. Or maybe we're right at the pour of it. We haven't got any more containment constructs that I've seen. I think that's the I think that's the the chase and money uncommon of the set because it's so good man. I think it's one of the uncommons that could be worked in uh soul transfer. I think it's one of the um another foil last three packs. I think it's what can be used in modern the most and it, it can't it can't fit in like the cycle decks because cycling is way much more. Hey, Jen Contaxius, man. Really good to see you. Really good to pull you. You're definitely going in one of my EDH decks. That is definitely for show. Cause uh I think it'll work really well in my Urza deck. All right, Lizard Blades, and it's quite funny that I, I would say it would go in. Another one of the uh, Altar was the last pack, Magic. Let's see what last pack Magic gives us. Anything, anything good? Yeah, look at that. Th this is actually going to go... I have a foil, a foil non or version so i don't know it's either going to be this or that one and we got another land so let's see how many we got no foil mythics but we pull we busted out six total mythics which are very good ones we got the wanderer jen cataxiest uh the dragon the blade of oni i think all those are really good let's see how many lands we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think they might have said like six to eight was the average, but that's very, very nice to get all those. And we'll put our we'll put these up there, that's fine. Because I do want to keep those separated. I'll put this in a, like a little bag. And once again, guys, there is a giveaway with this. Uh, we'll be giving away a pack of this. And I, like I promised, I'm gonna open this up. And if everything's legit, um, 
it looks like everything's legit. Packs are all nice, all good. So yeah, it's quite funny that they 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 didn't know that. It came with three packs. I think they thought it was like a theme booster. But hey. Uh, the giveaway. Uh, starting now. I'll end it uh, on this coming Friday. And the winner gets four packs. Um, you'll get Kamigawa and three. Three Val packs. And they're all yours. Um, whoever wins. It'll be shipped to you for free. If it's overseas. I'll have to crack each pack open. And give you the foils. Uh, mythics and rares. Out of it. And that's pretty much what I could give you. Um, maybe uh, one or two uncommons that might be valuable. But that's going to be it, guys. Take care, and we'll see y'all later. Good luck on the giveaway. Take care.